In today's video, I'll be introducing you to FaceTime. So what exactly is FaceTime? FaceTime is Apple's built-in app that allows you to have a free live video chat with anyone in the world who also has an Apple device, such as an iPhone, an iPad, an Apple laptop, or desktop computer. For demonstration purposes today, I will be using my iPad. But before we get started, I wanted to share with you some important tips to ensure you have the best experience possible. The number one thing is to always keep the viewer in mind. Remember that there is another person at the end of this conversation. So you want to make sure you speak slowly and clearly. You want to be aware of your surroundings, any background noise, anything in the background within the screen that might be distracting. Make sure that the lighting is well done, that you're well lit. And what's really important, I think, is to remember to maintain eye contact with the viewer. It's very easy to look at the screen, but if you want to look at the viewer, if you want that viewer uh, to, to feel that you're looking at them, you want to look into the camera, not the screen. Be mindful of what you're wearing. Be mindful of the camera angle. Be mindful to make sure you hold the device still. If possible, prop the iPhone or iPad on a surface like a table or shelf for stability. Your iPhone and your iPad come with two built-in cameras, a front and a rear-facing camera. You have built-in speakers, a built-in microphone, but if you want to get better sound in terms of output or input, you may want to attach an external microphone or headphones for better quality. Now that we've wrapped up the tips, let's get started. As you can see, we are on my iPad now. I'm on the home screen. I've got all my various apps, but the app we're going to focus on right now is FaceTime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the FaceTime app, and you'll get to see my smiling face for the first time. Um, as you can see, what I've done here is I've purposely um, centered myself um, and positioned the camera so it's straight on. I'm, I'm very well lit from the front. I don't have a lot of backlight. So I'm nice and clean and crisp and you can see me very clearly. And that's really, really important. What's also important is maintaining eye contact. And that's sometimes a little tough when doing FaceTime because you have a tendency to look at the screen and not in the camera. And if you want to have eye contact with the other person on the other end, the key here is to look into the camera. And I'm going to try to do that as much as I can as we do this video. So how do we make an actual FaceTime uh, video chat? As you can see on the left hand side here, I've got um, past FaceTime video chats. And these are recent ones that I've made. Uh, you can see the dates there and so on. But if I want to do a, a brand new one, what I do is I tap on the plus symbol at the very top right corner of that column. When I tap on it, it brings up my keyboard and a to field. Okay, So in this case, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to type in my friend Mary's name. And there she is. So she pops right up. I click on her name and now I can make an audio or video FaceTime chat. So in this case, we're going to do video. So I tap on the video icon and we start our chat. You can see Mary's picture there, her name at the top. Hello. Hey there, Mary. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thanks so much for uh, 
joining me today, and thanks for helping me with this demo. You're very welcome. Okay. Um, so just sit tight. I just want to explain to the folks some of the things that they're seeing on the screen here, okay? Okay, so as you can see in the upper left-hand corner is what Mary sees. So I always have an idea of what I look like to her. If I tap on her screen, or on you know the, the field that she's in, it brings up different icons. I can end the call. I can turn the camera off. I can mute the microphone, or I can flip it as well. And if I flip it, she can see what's on the other side of this camera, which just happens to be my window. So I'm going to flip this back so Mary can see me. All right. So um, Mary, tell me uh, and tell the folks a little bit about how you use FaceTime to communicate with your family and friends. I know you have daughters that live out of state. Can you share a little bit about that? Sure. I have uh, two daughters. One lives in Buffalo, about mm, two hours from me, and one lives in Florida. And they both have babies, so they're very new babies. One is almost one, and one is two months tomorrow. So even though I live far away, it's awesome that I get to see them like every day. I make them call me every day. That's awesome. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap up with you. Um, and for the, for the folks out there, this is pretty much um, how you do a FaceTime chat. Uh, if I'm going to hang up with Mary, I just simply hit the red button, and that will hang up the call with her. But before I do that, I want to thank her again for joining me. Mary, thanks so much. You're very welcome. All right. Bye. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So I hit that red button, and we're back to me. Uh, and that's how you do it, folks. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I hope you learned something new. I hope you use this to help communicate with your family and friends, and I wish you all the best. Before I wrap up today's video, I would like to tell you about the wonderful folks over at Lifespan. Lifespan provides information, guidance, and more than 30 services for older adults and their caregivers in the Rochester, New York, and Monroe County area. If you are over 60, and have questions, concerns, or need assistance, please call Lifespan at 585-244-8400 or visit their website, lifespan-roch.org. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need more information on group or private in-home instruction, please visit my website at danielteaches.com or you can call me at 585-902-8450 or email me at daniel at danielteaches.com.